The town of Pabellón de Hidalgo is a small but significant municipality located in the Mexican state of Aguascalientes. The history of the town dates back to the pre-Hispanic times, when the region was inhabited by indigenous tribes such as the Cascanes, Tequejes, and Zacatecos. These groups lived in the area for thousands of years, developing their own distinct cultures and traditions. During the pre-Columbian era, the region was known for its fertile soil and abundant natural resources, including water, wood, and minerals. The indigenous people of the region developed sophisticated agricultural techniques, including irrigation systems and terraced fields which allowed them to cultivate a variety of crops, including corn, beans, and squash. These tribes were known for their fierce resistance against the Spanish conquerors, who arrived in the region in the 16th century, searching for gold and other valuable resources. Over the next few decades, the Spanish established several settlements in the region. The town is named after Miguel Hidalgo, who was born in the nearby town of Corralejo in 1753. Hidalgo is considered one of the most important figures in Mexican history and is known for his role in the Mexican War of Independence. In the early 19th century, the town was the site of a battle between the insurgent forces led by Miguel Hidalgo and the Spanish army. Despite being outnumbered, the insurgent forces were able to secure a victory, which helped to turn the tide of war. Today, the town is a popular pilgrimage site for those who wish to pay their respects to this important historical figure. These events can be appreciated in the town's Museo de la Insurgencia. The Insurgency Museum was once part of the San Blas ex Hacienda. The Hacienda was established in the 17th century and played a significant role in the agricultural development of the region. It covered a vast area and included several buildings such as a chapel, a mill, a granary, and several warehouses. The former estate began to prosper thanks to the construction of the San Isidro Dam which contributed to increased harvests. Thus, by the end of the 18th century, the hacienda enjoyed abundantly high productivity, especially pertaining to livestock. Another factor that led to San Blas's prosperity was the fact that it was built on the side of the Camino Real de Tierra Adentro, which was the natural route not only for transit, but also for supplying products to the Zacatecas mines which turned the San Blas Hacienda into an important producer of grains and cattle destined to be traded in the rich Zacatecan city. During the Mexican War of Independence, the Hacienda played a crucial role in supporting the Royalist Army. However, in 1811, the insurgents, led by General Ignacio Allende, captured the Hacienda, and it became a strategic center for the rebel forces. The hacienda was used as a temporary shelter and a place to store weapons and supplies. After the war, the hacienda was partially dismantled and some of its buildings were repurposed for other uses. The Insurgency Museum, which is housed in the hacienda's former treasury, was established to commemorate the role played by Pabellón de Hidalgo and its people in the Mexican War of Independence. In fact, this is where Miguel Hidalgo met with Aldama and Allende when he was stripped of his command of the insurgent army following his defeat in Puente de Calderón. Today, visitors of the museum can see exhibits that showcase the history of the town and the region during the war. There are several displays of weapons, clothing, and other artifacts that were used by the rebels and the royalist forces. 
Although Pabellon was one of the most productive and appreciated hacienda in the 19th century, the effects of the insurgent movement caused difficulties and the introduction of the railway during the 80s represented the disuse of the old royal roads. This coupled with the policy of the post-revolutionary governments of the 20th century, which introduced agrarian reform, dispossessing the legitimate owners of the majority of the land, with which the San Blas Hacienda was left in ruins. Visitors can explore the remaining buildings of the former estate, including the chapel, which was built in the 18th century and is a great example of the Baroque architecture of the time. In the early 20th century, Pabellón de Hidalgo was a small rural community, known mainly for its agriculture and livestock production. However, in the years following the Mexican Revolution, the town began to experience significant growth and development. The history of Pabellón de Hidalgo is a testament to the resilience and perseverance of the people of Mexico. Despite colonialism, political upheaval, and social unrest, the people of the small town have managed to build a thriving and prosperous community, one that is rich in culture, tradition, and history. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have many more videos of Aguas Calientes, including the various historical neighborhoods, as well as the different things you can do in and out of the city, like going on hikes or enjoying some of the local cuisine. You can find all those videos in the playlist that is linked in the description below this video. You'll also find a link to another playlist of when I bicycled through Mexico. That was part of a larger trip, bicycling through Latin America. I've also bicycled through Eastern Africa and Central and Eastern Europe, and I have playlists for all those countries that I've bicycled through, available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. Alternatively, if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I've been and all the things that I got to see and do, I have that interactive map available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. where you can click on the different locations and see all the blog posts and videos that I've made of those places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures through Mexico and beyond, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.